They first appeared over a hundred years ago. Giant humanoid creatures with a taste for our blood. The brute strength of these aberrations trumped an average person's many times over. We were shoved to the brink of extinction almost overnight. The survivors erected walls Maria, Rose, and Sina, withdrawing behind them in frightened huddles for what was to be a century of uneasy peace. And then... Things have changed. Maybe not a hell of a lot, but enough. They aren't the mystery they were five years ago. There's still a long way to go, but we've made progress. Every battle we lost taught us a lesson, gave us the tiniest inroad towards something like hope. You telling me it's better to cut our losses, let all the death and destruction be meaningless, just to ball it up and accept it? Not on your life! Humanity's future lies outside the walls, and I'm gonna clear the way! I'm gonna take back what was ours! Every now and then, though, I can see through the act. Especially when you're showing off your fighting skills. Maybe hand-to-hand -hand combat didn't count for squad against our final grade back at the Academy. But to you, it was a different story altogether. Yeah, about that much at least. It was obvious you were a liar. Fighting's your whole world. But what exactly are you fighting for? What could possibly have been worth all this death and destruction? Calm yourself. We haven't got time for you to get emotional right now. On your feet. Marco, if we eliminate or bypass the Titans at HQ, we can there refuel our gear, allowing us to get back over the wall. Is that assessment correct? But there's just too many of them out there, even with you on point. I can do it. If I can't beat them, then I die. But if I win, I live. And the only way to win is to fight! This may sound crazy, but I think he might be useful. Whoa, you mean the Titan? He only attacks his own kind. He seems to have no interest in us. What if we can somehow steer him to HQ and let him loose on the other Titans? Look, we know he's taken at least one out already. We can use him as a weapon. But something tells me he's fighting on instinct. I'm almost sure if you take down the pair he's tangling with now, he'll go look for others. That'd lead him straight to HQ. We're not steering him so much as luring him. What if there's not an option? The fight doesn't give us a say. If it wants to get ugly, it gets ugly. It's our job to be prepared. The enemy comes in many forms. Artillery's not always gonna be the answer. Soldiers, the ones worth their salt anyway, are ready for anything. Don't believe me? Look, maybe somebody ought to give her a talking to. Give her a little hard knocks lesson in preparedness. Most of them are here for show. To do just what society expects. In a world where you're labeled a coward if you choose fieldwork by the time you turn 12, propriety demands our service. With that said, I'm really no different from the others. I joined the ranks hoping for assignment to the military police, tucked away in the interior. If that doesn't work out, I'll give up entirely. I don't really have the fortitude for anything else. Hand-to-hand -hand combat doesn't really count against our final grade. The smart ones blow it off. It's a crapshoot anyway. Only the top ten cadets get to serve in the interior. The rest of us? Forget it. Point is, only the idiots like you take this part of boot camp seriously. Look around you, Aaron. All the sons of bitches really expect us to do is play the game. Don't be a pawn. BS? Am I the only one who wonders what happened with the whole logistics base thing? Or why we didn't go galloping home after the female titan showed up? Why are we suddenly all playing birdhouse? Oh, wait, no. I know the last one. No titans allowed in the center rank's nature retreat. 
little fool. He's got no idea what's going on. Guess someone hated looking at those titans even more than I did. Well, it might sound dumb, but I'm glad they did it. Before I'd actually seen a titan, I was convinced I wanted to be a scout and take them all on. Now I never want to lay eyes on one again. And today, we have to pick which regiment to join. Promise me you're not going to take this the wrong way. But I don't think you're a good leader because you're strong. I think you're a good leader because you know what it is to be weak. You're one of us. You're scared out of your mind, just like we all are. It makes you alert, sympathetic. You made a damn good call out there. Got me running for my life. You're why I can say this. Poor thing. He ran to me like the devil was on his tail. So did you guys fight a titan? Oh no! Arm in your head! You've been hurt! It was nothing. I'm just... I'm just glad you're all okay. What would we do without you? Let it go, Connie. He's it. The rest of them are dead. Damn it! Don't talk like that! We can't assume he's the only one! Take a look around you. Isn't it obvious? We can't waste any more time here with him. We've gotta move on. You're not making any sense. Why would the Titans ignore him? I don't know. Maybe they thought he was already dead or something. When you get right down to it, that's the real tragedy here. Aaron and the others bust their asses, and the one left standing is him. <laughs> Sasha Bros from Topper Village at your service! Reporting for duty, sir! And what is that you're clutching in your right hand? A steamed potato! It sat there in the mess hall begging to be eaten, sir! Why eat it here of all places? It looked quite delicious, and it was getting cold. So I gave it shelter in my stomach, sir. Why would you eat that potato? Uh, are you asking me why people eat potatoes? I'm surprised you don't know, sir. Must suck having your dad and your memory MIA at the same time. Unless, of course, that's just a cover story. All right, then. I'll take responsibility for him. Let the higher-ups know what's going on. Not that I implicitly trust him, of course. It's more a matter of me trusting myself to deal with him. Kill him if I have to. The bigwigs aren't likely to raise a stink. My record more than speaks for itself, I'm pretty sure. Good news, Jaeger. You're now officially a member of the Scouts. Here's the lay of the land, my friend. If we want to pay your dad's seller a visit, we have to venture back into Shiganshin. Sealing the breach there as we did in Trost would be the smart way to go about it, don't you think? Naturally, we'll need your special powers. Any way you slice it, a Titan's deciding our fate. It's been conjectured that the Colossal and the Armored Titan are more or less the same as you. Straighten those spines, pissheads! The 104th Cadet Corps boot camp starts now! Allow me to introduce myself! I'm Commandant Keith Shades, and you will grow to hate me! Training is gonna be a white-knuckle ride through hell! If I've done my job, you'll be waking up in a cold sweat from memories of this place every night for the rest of your miserable lives! Right now, you're nothing. Livestock. But over the next three soul-crushing years, you'll learn to take down your own Goliath! Look at him go. The man is a master when it comes to fresh-faced recruits. But what's the point of all the intimidation? It's a rite of passage. Through stress and denigration, we revert them into blank slates. From there, we can mold them bit by bit into proper soldiers. He is the first step in that process. Get that ridiculous thought out of your head this instant, young man! No son of mine is going to be fodder! Do I make myself absolutely clear? Mikasa. The boy needs to be protected from himself. Promise me, whatever happens, I can count on you to have his back. Aaron. Behave while I'm gone, and I'll let you in on what I've been doing in the cellar. <laughs> Listen to me. It's vital that you keep this key on you at all times. Whenever you look at it, let this thought flood over you. I must return to that cellar. Ah, good Dr. Jaeger. Yeah, well... Can't argue with a man who single-handedly spared us from the plague. Thing is, he's talking about his scalpel, 
What we do isn't half as important. Hey, no disrespect to your father, but a soldier's time beyond the wall kind of tends to put the whole issue into a different perspective. Listen, the only thing they've done to the wall in the past hundred years is scratch at it. I have the feeling if they get in their big heads to do something else, we'll be more than ready for them. For the moment, there is no way to validate all of the claims you've made. For now, I'll just catalog them in here. With that said, I can usually tell the difference between the unctuous and the sincere, which is why I personally guarantee your safety. Your cadet Armin Arlert, is that correct? You mentioned a plan to harness this so-called Titan ability, and then utilize your friend's power to retake the city. Do you believe it could work? Or were you grasping at straws to try and save your hides? I want everyone split into four squadrons as practiced! All squadrons are responsible for supply running, message relay, and enemy combat under the command of the Garrison Regiment! The intercept squadron will be taking the vanguard! Cadets will be taking the middle guard, led by the support squad! Rear guard will go to the elites! I expect you all to man your posts, knowing the advance team has been wiped out! My name is Zoe Hanji. I'm a section commander for the Scouts. This is a fellow commander in the Scouts, Mikkei Zacharias. Uh. Oh, <laughs> don't mind him. He makes a habit of giving new people a thorough sniff. <laughs> Tends to laugh through his nose a bit, but I don't think he intends it to be derisive. Quirks aside, he is a skilled section commander. We're 30 days out from an expedition to set up a logistics base beyond the wall. And now you're saying we'll have a crop of green recruits along for the ride? Assuming any sign up, yes. Not to be a naysayer, but doesn't that seem rash to you? Honestly, what are their odds? Oh, Aaron, try not to look so discouraged. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you don't mind me calling you Aaron. I noticed the captain does, and, well, he pretty much sets the tone for the rest of us. Up close and personal, Captain Levi doesn't seem much like the hero he's cracked up to be. For one thing, he's a lot shorter. Bit on the temperamental side, too. Not exactly imbued with what you'd call the social graces. It's safe to assume our standing orders will stretch into next week. But word through the grapevine is we're gearing up for a big mission a month from now. One where a bunch of wet behind the ears graduates are slated to be our main backup. Especially given how unique the situation is. Consider how many people died on the path to taking back Walmaria. Then hope comes in a form no one expected. One that we're not even entirely sure how to deal with. Most of us still find it hard to believe. So how does it work, this whole changing into a titan trick? Really? An architectural marvel, don't you agree? A proper royal residence once upon a time, and more recently, our former headquarters. Fancy, yes, but absurdly impractical once the scouts got down to business. Much, much too far removed from either river or wall. This was the early days for us, you understand. Hopes soared high. Now, this opulent bobble is little more than a holding cell. The place where we store our newest toy. Our special ops squad will be positioned here, on standby, behind the center rank. It's the safest position in the formation. The supply wagons don't even get such fine treatment. Our goal this time around is to simply leave, then come back. Today's expedition will serve as a sort of test run to see if we got a shot at getting you all the way to Shiganshina. Something I want you to be aware of, Jaeger. Make no mistake, more than a few of our comrades are going to die today trying to pull this off. Their blood's on your hands. I'm talking friends. Captains, lieutenants, peons. Yes, they are soldiers. They are prepared to die. But remember, every one of them is a flesh and blood person. Sending people to their doom on a whim isn't a tactic I'm fond of. Uncertainty's killed too many already. But the commander's right. We must do this. And it goes without saying, the better our chances they'll bust through wall rows and wreak untold havoc. Agreed. We're working against the clock here. Titans are still lumbering into Trost as we speak. There already may be more than we can handle, frankly. The longer we wait, the worse our chances of success become. There's something else, too. 
Even the bravest of us can indefinitely bottle our fear. Not before something gives. My name is Niall Duck. I am commander of the military police. Our recommendation following a thorough examination of his physiology. Subject Aaron Yeager should be disposed of immediately. We acknowledge that Yeager's ability played a part in turning back the latest Titan incursion. However, as has been stated, his mere existence is creating a swell of rebellious sentiment. For the greater good, after we have gathered all the information that we can from him, we would see him made a fallen warrior of humanity. Order! I ask that you save your personal sentiments for a more appropriate venue. Now then, Mr. Yeager, I have a question for you. As a soldier, you have made a solemn pledge to answer humanity's call. Can you still serve by controlling your abilities? Yes, I will, sir. Oh, is that so? But this report from the Battle for Trust contradicts that statement. Just after transforming, it seems you made an attempt to crush Mikasa Ackerman. Brothers and sisters, let us pray for the continued strength of Saints Maria, Rose, and Sina. May they stand firm. Their grace is a manifestation of our good faith. We give thanks to the light of the Divine Architect. He whose wisdom is the mortar, whose sublime love for his creation is the steadfast stone. He, and he alone, protects us from the Titan Scourge in proportion to our worship. You're really gonna turn your back on the MP for the Scouts? Are you insane? How many people have died? We're talking a fifth of the population. If that doesn't paint a picture for you, I don't know what will. This is our life now. We can't beat them. I think your speech yesterday lit a fire under him. Do you have any idea how rare Meat's been since the Titans took Walmaria? Now, now, boys. You're not the only ones in your class. Save some of the glory for the rest of us. I would really like a slice, please! Come on, don't just stand there. If they see us slacking off, we're in for it. And you should check out all the cannon upgrades. The sight alone ought to be enough to scare them off. That's the truth. Knock it off, man. It's embarrassing. I promise we'll get through this. You're safe as long as I'm beside you. Well, we are going on five years without incident. Seems like a good omen. You in denial because you're a couple? What's that about? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't what it looks like, okay? I don't believe this! Those guys always talk so big! Attention! I'm Section Commander Ness, and this girl is my horse, Charette. Fair warning, Charette is rather partial to pulling hair, so I'd watch out if you don't want to go bald. We're glad to meet you. Ow, hey, stop that, you freak! Can I get a hand here, you guys? Looks like we've got another abnormal on our hands. It's not their fault. One more for the road, then! Right. Damn. I'm right in front of you! Look down, you monster! We've got you now! You're clever, but I'd like to see you defend all three weak spots at once! Cut the Achilles heel! The spinal cord! Whatever brings the bitch to her knees! Attack! For my brothers! For humanity! Moses! Moses! Beg your pardon. Where is my son? He should be with you all. Oh, please tell me he made it. He... he did good, yes. He was brave. <laughs> Tell me my son stood his ground to the bitter end. That his death meant something! Tell me his sacrifice gave us a better chance! They, uh, they figured out how to climb. I can see that. Well, if they can make it up this far, we can always go up a little further, I suppose. Anyway, I doubt we'll be here much longer. I suspect the order to withdraw will be coming any minute. What makes you say that? Those explosions just now? I hope everything's all right in there. Me too. <sighs> Those things... 
They just kept coming. It's a nightmare. Take it easy. I watched those monsters eat my squad. I saw my friends die. I didn't even really feel anger or sadness about the whole thing. All I could think was better you than me. But soon, my number will be up too. That'll be it. The end can put the game over. Shut up! We can't just leave him out here! He was there! I saw Ivan's body! He was right in front of us! And if you didn't notice, there were titans nearby. Go back, and we could wind up dead ourselves! So if they attack, we'll fight! It's what we do, right? Ivan and me, we grew up in the same town together. His parents are like family to me. I can't face them again if we leave him. Whether we have his body or not makes no difference now. He's still just as dead either way. That's cold. Almost done, sir. We estimate about five to be unrecoverable. Not even an arm or a leg. Sadly, the Titans didn't leave much behind. And honestly, sir, I think it would be best for the families if we didn't bring back what little there is. Section Commander, you're too close! Woohoo! That was close! That's what I've been trying to tell you! For the love of God, stand clear! <laughs> You want your head chomped off? <laughs> Sir, please, with all due respect, the kid's abilities are an unknown quantity. We don't have the first idea of what he will or won't do. If he can't lift the rock, or worse, he goes rogue, a lot of lives will have been lost for nothing. Ackerman, <laughs> you're with me. You've been assigned to the rear guard on special orders. Let's get moving. But, sir, I'm a cadet. I'll slow everyone down. What? You're not being asked for a self-evaluation here. The mass exodus is falling apart. We need as many elite soldiers as possible to get things back on track. Excuse me, Captain Levi. G good evening. I, uh, yes, I'm Petra's father, sir. Might I bend your ear before she sees us? I received this letter from her somewhat recently. Apparently, you handpicked her yourself. She's very excited, I can assure you. In fact, it sounds like she's utterly devoted to you in every way. So devoted that, well, to be honest, her mother and I are a bit concerned, you see. You've been pretty lax in your duties recently. Look, Marlo, you've upset her. She's antisocial, not upset. You're wrong, Boris. I'm nothing like the rest of you degenerates. I joined up because the military police is in dire need of repair. Just how do you plan to fix it? By working my way to the top, of course. And then once I'm in charge, I can install a new system to make sure all those who are dishonest pay for their transgressions. It's as simple as that. Look who's finally awake. You look so terrifying when you're asleep, I didn't dare disturb you. Probably should have. Sorry. Wow, that was great, Marlo. I never pegged you for the Crusader type. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that is something. And I thought you were a total bust. Knock it off, you guys. She fought in the Battle of Tross before coming here, which makes her the only one of us who's ever seen any real action. She's just been through hell. Probably takes time to readjust. Ah, so you have a crush on the new girl, huh? <laughs> what could you possibly see in her? I don't know, Hitch. Maybe it's that she got into the MPs based on skill, unlike some I could mention. Great. Thanks, guys. I called you all here because I've got actual work for you today, not just the same old crap. It's got something to do with the scouts being summoned to the capital. Sometime today, they'll be passing through town along the main street. HQ has already provided a security detail, so we're only being asked to assist until the convoy's clear. ODM use in city limits has been authorized. You'll follow beside the convoy as additional security. Oh, darling, it's absolutely fantastic. Excellent work. Aw, oh, thank you. We've kept this style of embroidery a special family secret for heaven knows how many generations. One day, when you have children of your own, you'll be able to pass the secret on to them. Huh? I don't understand. How can I have children? Uh, honey, why don't you explain? Uh... 
Well, I'm not sure I'm really an expert on this subject. But you know what? That nice Dr. Yeager's scheduled to pay us a visit today. Maybe you could talk to him. Ah, speak of the devil. Please, sir! We need you here! Or would you rather us be overwhelmed due to a logistical nightmare? But, but, sir! If we lose those supplies... That's enough! If you have a name for this one, it'd be helpful to pass it along. I need his name. We don't have time for this. Please, son, you understand? It's been two days since we board up the hole in Wall Rose. That's too long. We're nowhere near accounting for all the dead. Unless these poor souls are dealt with soon, an epidemic is likely to break out. We're the first line of defense against secondary disaster. We'll lament the fallen after we've done our jobs. Is that understood? Come now, take this seriously. Very well. Yet another victory is mine. Dear, oh dear. One would think our monthly rose would see at least some modest improvement in your approach to the game, Pixis. You can't just march off! I command you to stay! Preparations must be made! Assemble your troops and establish a garrison around my estate this instant! Damn it all, it's your sworn duty to defend us! That's good, Eddie! Well, I expect the best from my daughter. Move! Who told you it was time to rest? I could easy. I always hope you're smiling.